Hello everyone, this is Jackson Kerr, and today I want to start off a new series talking about music and how it works, music theory. Um, a lot of times I run into musicians who have a lot of skill playing their instruments, but they don't necessarily understand why uh, they play works well, or how it works well. So what I want to do is to give you the tools so that you can understand music better, and so that you can eventually write your own music. Um, one of the things I found in writing music is that there are some, like I mentioned, who can feel out how to write a song. They kind of just figure it out by noodling around. Um, they play a few chords, and somehow it seems to come together on its own with seemingly little effort, leaving some of us wondering how they did that. So I'm here to tell you that there's, this is something that you can learn as well. This is not something mystical, which is just absorbed through osmosis, although uh, studying it is worthwhile. So, how does this work? We're going to talk about scales and melodies, building melodies and things. In most music, uh, especially in popular music, there's a kind of a push and a pull when we listen to it. This guides the work as a whole and makes one part of a song feel different from another part. To give you a better understanding of how and why this works, we have to talk about something called leading tones. A leading tone is a note which, when put in context, it pulls the listener and the music towards another note. So, if I play this scale... There's a feeling that something's missing. We're waiting for the last note to come, that scale, so it'll be finished. That's because I ended on a leading tone. A tone which, in the context of this scale, should lead us to the next note. When we leave it out, something feels like it's not done or finished. But, if we add another note to it, that feels a lot better. And there's a kind of resolution which takes place when the entire scale is played. So when we listen to music, there's a kind of a push and pull that I talked about that goes on. Uh, chords can do this, and melodies can do this, especially with things like uh, leading tones and using different parts of the scales. Some of these notes, some of these notes that we've used, uh, like this one, this leading tone, give us the feeling that we need to finish the phrase, especially if we've played all the rest of the scale except the last note. Uh, it's the use of this and chords and leading tones which allow composers and songwriters to guide the audience through a piece of music. Now we can take the same concept of that push and pull, and we can take it a bit farther. Chords, which can be loosely defined as two or more notes playing at the same time, can also have the same push and pull feeling when, when we use them in the right sequence. Uh, some chords and melodies just can't seem to stay where they are. They feel unfinished without going on to the next chord in the sequence. For example, if I play this... Sorry. We still have that feeling that it's not done, it's not finished. That's because we ended on a dominant chord. I believe it's called a dominant because it sort of dominates the scene and says, okay, something's coming next. And we're like, what is that? So if we do that again... We come back to the tonic. The tonic is the one which we, um, if we play a scale, the root starts on the tonic chord. This is C. So why does this work like that? When I play a chord, if I play a 5 chord, let's see, a dominant 7th, a 5-7, um, why does it feel like it's, it's not settled, it wants to go somewhere, it doesn't want to sit still? Part of this is because of the relationship between the notes in the 5-7 chord to the notes in our first chord, the 1 chord. Specifically, there are two notes in here, two notes, which give us that feeling that we need to move or resolve the chord. The first example is the B, the leading tone, which I talked about it. In the context of the scale, the leading tone gives the feeling that we need to go on and resolve to the tonic note, C. Tonic is a word we use to reference the home key or home note. In this case, since the first note of our scale is C, this is also the tonic. The B note in the dominant chord pulls us towards C, the lowest note, 
in this chord, which is G, also leads us back to the C. So do. So I hope that gives you an understanding of how scales and leading tones work. Um, if you have any questions, please be sure to leave comments, and you can check out my Facebook page and website down below. Um, I'd love to hear your feedback. I'd love to know what you think. And if there's something about music that you want to learn, let me know down below. Thank you very much.